Hello, welcome to Total Fight Time. I'm your host, Major League of Gaming Trap. This is the series where I choose a bunch of random characters to fight each other. We will learn about their powers, strengths, and weaknesses to see who would win a fight or not. Alright, let us see the fighter for tonight. Originally living flame, Solaris became unstable and first and was split into two halves during the Solaris project, the research program at the behest of the Duke of Salina, who envisioned Solaris as enabling them to control the flow of time to fix past mistakes as the flame of hope. Mephile the Dark was a malevolent and first and cunning mind of Solaris, while Ably represented Solaris, raw power. After being freed a decade later and first and hatching an elaborate plan, Mephile was able to kill Sonic and first and cause Princess Lee to pray, something that would cause the Ibli trigger and first and allow them to rejoin and recreate Solaris. Immediately upon using, Solaris put to destroy time itself were it not for the combined efforts of Super Sonic, Shadow, and first and Silver in their battle against it. Solaris was subsequently erased from existence by Princess Lee, ensuring his map would never be unleashed on world. It was stated that Solaris would destroy all timelines, this includes Sonic's world with all the different endings in Shadow the Hedgehog, Blaze's world, Classic Sonic's world, all the special stages from each world, and first time imaginary world, which is a multiversal construct. String Theory is also said to exist. It was stated to be a transcendent being beyond traditional time, hey, and for Sam Matter, and for Sam was stated to be a superdimensional life form, making him hyperversal level. It is a higher dimensional being that is beyond linear time, as it simultaneously exists in the past, present, and for Sam future. It was also collapsed in Amphers and consuming all of time, merging past, present, and first time future into one single void, and first time to still move and first time perfectly function in such a state, making him immeasurable. Solaris, or is located underneath the cosmic armor with flaking on the chest plate that must be broken through first to reach it, durable enough to cause supersonic harm when he uses non-charged attacks, managing to do so and first time attacking the core only reveals a second, stronger form, Mephile, who represented his mind, created a scheme that manipulated the entire Sonic cast across the span of 210 years. Solaris, second form is stated to be even stronger with their defense. Solaris was no longer able to be harmed by their attacks and first and instead had to be defeated by attacking the rule in its core. Said core is able to withstand its own attacks being held back at itself by Super Silver. Finding and snuffing out his original form in the past and first and defeating him in the past, present and future simultaneously, the red core in the center of its body is weak spot. Overall, even with those flaws, Solaris is still one of Sonic's most powerful villains ever. Eldritch Zero is the fusion of Niles Ampers and SMG Zero caused by the God Box. He is a godlike being powerful enough to convert another universe into the perfect universe. He is the most imposing of all the villains that SMG Force Gang has ever faced. He overpowered four Guardian Pods, which one can change up an entire universe. The cosmology contains infinite dreams, the backrooms dimension has infinite rooms, the rejection dimension is an existence of nothingness, heaven empress and hell exist as alternate dimensions. The bandy universe is also canon to SMG4, it contains verses such as Smash Bros, which was both shown and first and stated that characters have been sent to the character select and first and are being viewed as fiction, and first and Spongebob, which contains nine dimensions. There are millions of universes in the Bandy universe. Men transcend in the universe they to the Internet Meme Graveyard. This means the Internet Meme Graveyard exists beyond SMG4 universes. The viewers exist outside of Ampers and see the SMG4 world as fictional videos. The Great Beyond is a mythical dimension that connects all worlds together, the place in between places. 
It is very well. This place is where the god box resides. SMG 1 and first and 2 together are able to destroy it, and first and 0 is above the end, making him out of reversal level. He is far faster than Mario, who can move around in frozen time, able to BLJ so fast he exited reality, and first and BLJ so fast he went to the beginning of time and can move around it, making him immeasurable. He was able to survive attack from first the team enemy mean of Mario. Nile is the main host of Zero. He is able to know how to use the Guardian Pods with his Zampers and was able to easily manipulate Melanie. Due to the source of his corruptive power coming from the God Box, Nile. Eldritch forms are vulnerable to the power of the Guardian Pod since they each contain an antivirus. Unfortunately, since the Guardian Pod will have a limited subscription, he will eventually break free but in a weakened state. If the host he's possessing is killed, P Ampers and SMG0 will separate back into their true forms. The Fierce Deity seems to be the only thing powerful enough to rival Niles in his Eldritch forms. Overall, even with those flaws, Eldritch Zero still proves why he is still the most dangerous Sampers and most powerful for the SMG4 crew have ever faced. Alright viewers, now that the prey analysis is done, let us get into who wins this fight and why. Well, here we go again. This is yet another stump. Zero is easily far stronger, more durable, has far greater abilities, and percent has more intelligence. So Laris doesn't have a chance of winning, even if they split the murder, they still don't have the power to kill even one of them. Next time on Total Fight Time.